Is there anything that can be done to prevent uh, exposure to a toad? Prevention is geared towards trying to avoid the toads. So these toads are carnivorous, which means they're going to be going after insects, um, smaller uh, reptiles or amphibians, uh, and sometimes even small rodents. So uh, a lot of these guys are going to be attracted to yard lighting, uh, whether it's your front door or any of the decorative lighting that might be around your yard because the insects are going to be congregating in those areas. So trying to avoid having that type of lighting where your dog may be, or what's probably better is to go out with your dog, scan the yard for any of these toads, uh, before you allow your dog out there to uh, play or, or eliminate, go to the restroom, things like that. Um, so avoidance is key. Um, trying to train a dog not to chase one of these toads might not be as effective. Um, so trying to keep the toads out of your yard. Uh, some yards, if they're small enough, you might be able to put a really fine mesh around any of the drainage areas that are uh, in block wall fences, um, under gates, because these guys can flatten themselves out pretty thin to be able to get under some small openings in the gates and go in between some of the cracks uh, in certain types of fencing. Um, when it comes to chain link fencing, you're going to have a little bit harder time keeping them out of your yard. But if you have block wall fencing, you may have a lot more luck keeping these guys out. Um, so definitely going out with your pet and scanning your yard um, and making sure that they just don't have access to these guys is the best thing that you can do. Well, thank you. You're uh, That concludes our video blog about Colorado River Totes. See us next year, next week.